Hello everyone, you are watching Blackboard and welcome to our Microbiology playlist. As we have generally discussed about bacteria, their structure, the steps required for their growth and we have divided the bacteria into five groups depending upon their oxygen needs. So today we are going to classify some medically important bacteria depending upon the nature of their cell wall, the whether they are free living or not and most importantly according to their staining reaction and shape. And if you find it difficult to memorize the names of bacteria, we have some interesting mnemonics for you guys. So are you ready? Let's divide the bacteria into three main classes. Thick walled cells, thin walled cells and wallless cells. In the thin or flexible walled cells, Treponema, Borrelia and Leptospira are included. While Mycoplasma is a wallless bacteria. Now, coming to the thick walled cells, they are subdivided into free living bacteria which are capable of growing on laboratory medium and non free living bacteria which can only grow within human or animal cells and not on laboratory medium. The non-free living bacterial class includes Rickettsia and Chlamydia. The free living bacteria are further subdivided into three categories according to their staining characteristics. Gram positive bacteria, gram negative bacteria and acid fast bacteria. We have read about gram positive bacteria in our previous video and these bacteria appear purple after the gram staining procedure. Gram staining is actually a technique that helps in the identification of bacteria under microscope. We'll surely discuss about it in the coming videos. So, the gram positive bacteria may be cocci or rod shaped. Staphylococci are spherical gram positive cocci arranged in grape like clusters, and streptococci are arranged in chains or pairs. Spore forming roots are further classified into aerobic and anaerobic groups. Bacillus is a gram positive aerobic bacteria. And Clostridium is a gram positive anaerobic organism. Non spore forming roots can be non filamentous as well as filamentous. Corinibacterium and Listeria is a non filamentous gram positive road while actinomyces and nocardia come under the heading of filamentous bacteria. Gram-negative classification includes a lot of bacteria and contains two groups, gram-negative cocci and gram-negative roads. Neisseria is a gram-negative diplococci shaped bacteria. Gram-negative roads are divided according to their excision needs into facultative organisms aerobic organisms and anaerobic organisms. Facultative bacteria are straight as well as curved in shape. Respiratory, zoonotic and enteric bacteria come under the heading of straight roads. While curved facultative roads include Campylobacter, Helicobacter and Vibrio. Coming back to the classification of facultative straight rods, here is a mnemonic to memorize pathogens involved in the respiratory tract infections. Imagine you have to buy something very expensive and for that you need to withdraw a lot of money from a bank called HBL, a famous bank in Pakistan. While withdrawing the money you start breathing fast and this condition resembles symptoms from a respiratory tract disease. The names of the pathogens are Haemophilus, Bordetella, and Legionella. Zoonotic diseases can be transmitted between animals and humans. And this class includes a big faced penguin yawns. It means Brucella, Francisella, Pasteurella, Yersinia. Enteric bacteria exist in intestines of animals and humans. Sometimes they, being the normal flora, protect the enteric tract against pathogens. In the same way, Ellie keeps her sun protected. So this class includes Enterobacter, Escherichia, Klebsiella, Salmonella, Shigella, 
Ceratia and Proteus. As we have already discussed, the gram-negative roads are divided into aerobic and anaerobic classes as well. So, anaerobic class includes Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Bacteroids is an anaerobic gram-negative road. So, we have summed up the gram-positive and gram-negative bacterial classification. The third subdivision of free-living bacteria is acid-fast bacteria. It is actually a physical property that gives the bacterium the ability to resist decolorization of by acids during staining procedures. And this class includes mycobacterium. So this was all about the classification of medically important bacteria. And if you are interested in the details of all the bacteria that we have named today, then stay tuned. Because we have lined up the detailed videos of each and every bacterium. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos from my channel. Thank you.